let's say there is an almost perfectly accurate way to detect collisions that is used by the white circles, and a less accurate one assigned to the blue circles. Initially, circles of the two types are put in the same positions. When two circles collide, they merge into one. If the second method works as well as the first one, the colors have to never separate. Eventually, we see that the blue guys have moved off. By the end of this video, you'll know how to find collisions with unbelievable accuracy. First of all, the bad way is dangerously obvious. The idea is to check if the distance between two circles is equal to the sum of their radii. But here's a situation where a collision gets away undetected. Moreover, from what we can see in the accuracy comparison, scenarios like that are more than common. Collisions occur quite frequently, so leaving it working this way is extremely unsafe. If we implement the straightforward way in a simulation of some sort of physical process, it'll most likely get pretty far from reality over time. So what is the solution? As always, math is the key to everything. Here's a formula that defines in how long it'll be the case that the distance is equal to the radius of the first circle plus the radius of the second circle. The only unknown variable is d, that represents that period. I don't really like this word, but if we solve the equation for t, we'll get two possible values. One for the collision, the lower value, and one for the separation, the greater value. Obviously, we only need the first solution. Finally, we skip t forward. Now you're probably wondering, how exactly did I solve the equation for t? Well, it's pretty nasty to do it manually, so I use AI. Honestly, this is a great use case for it. Moreover, using this formula allows us to know if the positions of the particles are possible. For example, these two would have collided here, so we need to find new positions for them, or at least new directions. These positions, however, can theoretically happen somewhere in space. Something else the method offers is that we can get the exact position in which two circles will collide, provided we have the time, which we do. It is simply pos plus speed multiplied by time, where pos and speed are vectors. Also, keep in mind that if there is currently no pair of circles that will come together, there will never be one.